Hi, Scott from Top Coat Finishes here showing how to prep previously oiled exterior wood surfaces to receive waterborne stain. These are cedar veneered carriage house style overhead doors and they are two years old. Last year they had received three coats of penetrating oil and that didn't work out so well so I've, I've sanded them out and I'm right now in the process of applying the new waterborne finish which is Benjamin Moore Arbor Coat transparent uh, modified waterborne stain in just a cedar tone. So this video will show what we started with, kind of blow through the footage on how we prepped it, and then there'll be a little tutorial on how to apply the waterborne stain. So here's how I like to apply Arbor Coat. You can put it on pretty liberally and you have a pretty good amount of time to work with it. I'm just using a pretty typical two and a half inch Purdy Elasco brush and when you put it on it has kind of a cloudy appearance to it. That's no cause for alarm. It's just how it looks when it's wet and as you work it you can see that it's penetrating the wood. The key is just to get the wood saturated with it. Just get as much on there as you can without it running. So just keep soaking the wood. Making sure not to miss any little edges or gaps or anything. And what I do, once I get a few courses wet, I'll keep working ahead and I'll keep an eye on the ones that I've done just a minute or two ago. Just go back and fill in any sections that look like they're sucking it in really fast, give them a little more. So you have constant saturation for a few minutes. And the whole concept with Arbor Coat is that it's a two-step process. So this is the stain, and then there's a clear coat that gets applied over this later on. And the concept is that the stain doesn't receive any weather because it's protected by the clear coat. And the clear coat becomes your maintenance coat in the future. You don't have to do this step, the stain, again, because the clear coat protects this. And the clear coat doesn't peel or anything like that, it just kind of fades and when it fades out you can kind of see that you lose the kind of matte sheen that the clear has over this and when that starts to fade you just reapply the clear. The Arbor Coat's a product that we've been testing and using for a couple of years now. I wrote a full review on it in uh, APC Magazine this year, 2012 and um, we've been able to put it on pretty large-scale wood projects and watch it for many months, like through the winter and through different seasons to see how it weathers. And um, it's been really impressive. What's nice about it is, unlike oil stains, it'll retain its color a lot better. The, uh, the color of the stain doesn't fade as it weathers, which is really nice. And um, seems to do really well in pretty harsh exposures. This application right here is on cedar and cedar is a very soft wood so it'll suck in a lot of stain with it and what's really nice is that when you're done you can wash your brush with water instead of paint thinner which is a 
gets to be a very nice feature. And with that, because it's waterborne, you don't have the, uh, the bad oil smell to go along with it, which can give you a headache after a lot of exposure. These other sections that I've done earlier, just within the past hour, are dry and um, they've achieved pretty much their full color tone. And this is also nice because it is faster drying. If it's a day where you think it might rain later on or something, you can actually get this on and you don't have to worry about if it rains three or four hours later, you're pretty safe. Probably not going to have any water spotting, certainly not going to run it off the building. So the Arbor Coat Clear goes over the stain, and that's a pretty easy brush application. Here's how that looks. purpose of the clear is just to be the sacrificial coat, the one that will fade instead of the stain itself fading. And the clear also becomes the maintenance coat, coat in the future. You don't have to reapply the actual stain itself. The clear coat will weather and fade and when you see that fading you just reapply this clear coat. The clear is actually easier to apply than the stain itself. All you're looking to do is get the wood wet and not have any sags or runs or anything. So it's kind of an exercise in just sighting down what you've done, looking at it all the way up through, making sure that the whole surface got wet. Sighting down is one place that a lot of painters miss the boat and don't take the time to do it, but if you really sight the thing down from end to end, you can see if you've got good coverage. 